Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And the first of the month means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at the February 2023 printable, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download it for free. I'm so excited to be sharing another sheet load of cards with you. Now, if you don't know about sheet load of cards, this is a monthly free printable I put out for my subscribers that gives you a new sketch, cutting guides, so you can make the most of your cardstock and paper and make a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between six or 12 cards, depending on the sketch and the size of pattern paper that we're gonna be using. And as always, this is a free printable to all of my subscribers. Today's video is what I call the debut, and these come out on the first of every month. I will be sharing a look at the new printable, my first completed set, and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can download the PDF. Now I do want to give you a heads up that this month, I'm going to be giving you a few special instructions for cutting as kind of a heads up and I have a special bonus for my channel members. So make sure to keep watching and listening. Now tomorrow on the second, I will be back to show you my process and I will have lots of tips so you won't want to miss that video. Also, my team of collaborators will be joining me with their first sets for the month. I have members here on YouTube and over on Instagram, and I always love to see what they make, and I know that you will too. Make sure to check out my description box below. I have a list to their YouTube channels and Instagram accounts, so if you don't already subscribe here or follow them over on Instagram, I hope you'll go ahead and do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the February 2023 sheet load of cards. Here is a look at the latest printable. As always, it is two pages, with the first page being the sketch and supply list, and the second page being the cutting guides. This month, with just two pieces of pattern paper, five and a half pieces of solid cardstock, and then some card bases, we are gonna yield 12 cards. So this is a great one to build up that stash. Maybe you're already starting to make next year's holiday cards or you can always give them away to friends and family members as gifts. And as always, if you don't wanna make a full sheet load, like maybe you just need a single card and you like the sketch, or you have some scraps that you wanna use up, I do have the dimensions for each of the pieces given here. This printable does have some extra special instructions, so if you can't wait until I share the process video tomorrow if you want to get started, make sure to take note of them here with the asterisks, and on the cutting guide, I have some extra notes down here. Now, as always, sheet load is a great jumping off point for you. You can always make it your own. I do give you some suggestions here for alternative ideas. You could rotate the sketch, use different shapes for your sentiment piece. Maybe you want to pop up some pieces with foam tape. It is totally up to you. This month's sentiment piece is a little unique. It is a quarter circle that will go down in the corner of pattern paper piece B. Now you can always use a different shape or maybe replace it with a die cut word or some ephemera, but if you are a channel member, I will have an SVG file that is already the shape and size you'll need for this month's cards. Now if you're not a channel member, tomorrow in the process video, I will show you some other ways you can get that. And as always, there is the one that I share here on the cutting guide. Just a heads up that this bonus SVG will be available later today on the membership tab and it is also linked on the monthly channel member blogs. Make sure to reach out via email if you have any questions on that. Another thing I want to point out on page one of the printable are the hashtags up here at the top. 
I always love to come see what you're creating with sheet load of cards. So after you're done with your set using the February sheet load, please use those hashtags if you post here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok so I can stop by and see what you made. Now, if you're on my Facebook group, I will also have an album specifically for February 2023, and you can share those there as well. And I almost forgot, you can always send in a card or an example for the end of the month Show Us Your Sheet Load video. I will have the Show Us Your Sheet Load Guidelines video linked in the description box below that tells you how you can send in a card or how to post online. As always, on page two of the printable are the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each of the card stocks and each of the pattern papers. Now, speaking of pattern papers, if you're going to get started, I do want to point out that for all of the three and a half by one inch pieces, you will not want to do what I call generous cuts because you do need that full 12 inches top to bottom. So if you cut these even just a little bit over one inch, you're going to get down here to the bottom and not have a piece that is quite one inch. I actually did it with generous cuts and this final one ended up only being three quarters of an inch tall. So just a heads up about that. Now tomorrow again I'll explain more but what I would suggest and what I have um, added down here is I would cut sections that are three and a half by four inches and then cut each of those down for the individual cards into one inch tall pieces. For the sentiment, I do show here how to cut CS3. What you'll need are three four inch circles and then you cut those into quarters and that's gonna get you your 12 final pieces that you will just rotate those until the corner is down here in the bottom right. It is easy to do, but the SVG, if you have an electric cutter, makes it even easier. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the main supplies that I use for my cards this month. Channel membership is a great way to show your favorite creators that you appreciate what they do. Here on my channel, I have membership starting as low as $1.99 a month. You can check out the join button below this video, or I do have a link in the description box to find out more about the perks and levels. Probably the most favorite perk, which does start at the $1.99 level, is the sheet load visual archive. You can see it up on screen now, and what it is is thumbnails of each month's sheet load with a direct link to download it. So if you're looking for past issues, you don't have to go back and watch all of the videos to find out the links and passwords. You have this one-stop shop as long as you are a member. Here is a look at the main supplies I used for my first set this month. Now in tomorrow's process video, I will tell you about the other tools and products I used, but for my sentiment, I chose the Oh Yes You Did Clear Stamp Set from Tailored Expressions. I just went with this word here, just a simple high, so these cards could be sent for many occasions. Now one thing I do want to show you that I always do if I ever have any questions whether or not the sentiment or image will work with the designated area, as long as I print this PDF at 100%, this is the actual size of my finished card. So what I can do is bring my stamp set over here, and like that just a note would be too big. I would have to adjust some sizing here if I wanted to use this. But my main purpose was to see if just the word high worked. So I held it up to my printable and yes, it fits in there and there's some good white space around it. I'll share a better look at the gorgeous pattern papers I use on this month's card. But first I just wanted to share with you the cardstock colors I chose to go with it. For the matting, so for CS1 and CS2, I chose Lovely Lavender from Gina K Designs. And for my card bases, I chose Edible Eggplant also from Gina K Designs. I thought these matched well with my Stampin' Up! papers, which these gorgeous pieces are from Favored Flowers, which is a Stampin' Up! celebration exclusive. When I saw this kind of being previewed online and using on cards, I had to place an order just to get this. Now there are definitely things I'm going to use later on, but I could not let this pass me by. 
The ones I'm using today are the purple flowers. And for my second pattern paper, it's actually just the back of that same sheet. I just loved how this deep purple matched those florals. Now, I don't sell Stampin' Up! products, but there are a couple people on my sheet load of cards team who do. So if you don't already have a demonstrator and you want to get yourself some of this pretty, pretty paper, make sure to check out the description box below for Creative Chelsea or Choose Joy with Carmen. I know that they would love to help you out. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards using the February 2023 sheet load of cards. I hope you enjoyed that close-up look at my first set of cards using the February 2023 sheet load of cards. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you send me any proof. Please make sure if you're going to click on the download link that you have already clicked on that subscribe button. You're going to find this month's PDF in the description box below, right above my related supplies list. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can download it to your device and print it, or you can view it on screen and use it from there. Don't forget if you are going to show us your sheet load and share online to use the hashtags, or you can send me a card for the end of the month video. I'm excited to come back tomorrow with the process, and until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.